Welcome to Cardesign.academy. Today we're going to talk about how to set up a mannequin. As I said before, working in Gravity Sketch in human scale is one of the real strengths of the software. Understanding the size, scale, proportioning of everything that you're that you're building um, is is um, something that you can instantly perceive in in VR and only in VR. So uh, I'm going to show you very quickly how to set up a mannequin. So uh, on, under the blue button, you'll see um, under prefabs, you'll see a male and a female mannequin. I'm going to select the male mannequin, and I'm going to drop it in the scale box here. You can see it turns green when I drop them in there. Now you can see I have uh, a male mannequin standing um, in human scale right next to me. Um, I can uh, position him. So let's say if I want to turn him around this way. Um, I can also um, I could also do this if I wanted to. Um, so you have you have uh, infinite amount of movement there. Uh, plus I can I can choose between centimeters, millimeters, and meters. But this is this is the correct scale because I'm standing in human scale right next to him, and he's he's about my height. Uh, so I'm going to check the box. Now we have a full scale human mannequin. So uh, now we want to position the mannequin. So to do that, what I'm going to do is move towards the mannequin. I'm going to select the mannequin with my middle finger button. As I'm holding the middle finger button, I'm going to turn on the control points. You can see, um, and I'll scale down here a little bit, you can see some green control points. Uh, these, are, these are control points that enable you to, uh, to move um, the arms and legs, the head. Um, so I'm going to I'm going to show you how to put him in a driver's position. Now there's some additional um there's some additional adjustments. If I use the middle uh, I'm sorry, if I use the the thumb joystick and I click it to the right, you can see I get additional control points in blue. Um you can see you can get right down to the, even the positioning of the finger. So let's say if he's holding a smartphone or pushing a button or gripping a steering wheel, uh you have a lot of control. Now these work rotationally, so so what I do is I grab them and I rotate the uh, controller. So I like to do that with the legs. So using my um, uh, selection sphere, I grow the selection sphere, I can grab a couple of points here and that way I can move the legs evenly. So I'm just going to put him in sort of a driving, like a sports car driving position. Like he's gripping a steering wheel. Move the feet down a little bit. So very quickly, you can have a mannequin in a driving position or in whatever position you want. So now if I uh, hit the check mark here, the control points will disappear and he is now locked into that position. And from there, I can, I can uh, use my... Uh, my two trigger, my trigger and my middle finger button on the left side to to uh, snap myself back to human scale. I can rotate around. I can see him in full size here. And so now, when if I decide to sketch a vehicle around him, I know what scale that vehicle is going to be. So even if it's a even if it's a non wheeled vehicle, let's say it's a it's a manned vehicle, an uh, an aerial vehicle, and a marine vehicle, even without wheels, having that human scale is extremely important to giving you some basis as to how big or small something is. So uh, that is how you set up a human scale mannequin. Thanks for watching.